One minute we have all the time and the next minute there's little or no time left. So what better time to act if not now? If we aim to shape a better future, then we must begin today. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. Now, in our society today, we are faced with quite a number of challenges and burning issues which has little or no attention paid to them. But now the question is this, how do you address or how do you prefer solution rather to issues when they are left unaddressed? Now this is the reason why Celebration TV has brought to you youth and lifestyle. It is an avenue through which different issues and topics which are of importance to the youth in general and the nation at large are being addressed in order to be able to prefer solutions and curb different maintenances. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. I am James Comfort and right here with me on set, my wonderful co-host to address our topic of discourse for today is Elias Anamdi sitting right next to Hello. me. And sitting right next to him is Lizzie K. Hello, good evening. Yeah, and together we shall be addressing our topic of discussion for today, which is um, quite a very sensitive one. Not just sensitive, but it is something that is so serious. And I do not think it's getting the much needed attention from the government, from the society at large yet, because it is something that we experience every single day in different parts of the world. And we're talking about rape. Yes, you heard me right, rape. We are no strangers to that word. It is nothing new. And it's indeed a menace that needs to be curbed. Now, before we go into our discussion proper for today, we have a very brief footage, which we would love you to watch with us, after which we shall commence and go into our discussion proper. So do well to stay with us. Just watch your screens. Oh, oh, she died. 
remind you for that? How guys will pass stones you on? Wait, stop! Stop! I know I said all that, I know. I only said all that because I wanted to feel amongst you guys. I wanted to blend like anyone else. I don't want to feel like the naive one. But Mike, I kept saying no. I begged you to stop. No. How was I supposed to know you know one thing? Are you forgotten when you said you like it when your when a guy prevails over you? Or have you forgotten how you said you like when, when being forced? Mike, I know it's a no. I know it's a no. No justification. Jesus. You've always told me how you fantasize making love to me each time we're alone. Mike, I know I said all that. I know. And I gave you a reason why I said all that. I gave you a good reason. I put a view done. What have you done to me? Welcome back. Um, now, I believe that was quite a touching, mm. a touching story, quite a very sensitive um, point of view to that particular issue. And the, the most amazing thing now is the fact that some persons out there would outrightly tell you that what just happened, what we just watched, is in no way a case of rape. <laughs> and that now brings us to asking the question, do you even understand what rape is? Because what you do not understand, you do not even know how to address, you do not even know how to curb. So I want us to actually look into this proper now. Anamdi, mm -hmm. Lizzie K, we just watched that footage together. Would you say that was actually a rape, a rape case? Hmm. If I'm going to say first, um, I, I understand that uh, when you forcefully have a way with someone, in the first place, that's a rape. Starting okay. with, yes, yeah. it's a rape. It's, a rape. It's, it's just, you don't have anything to say about There's no it. Justification. There's no justification of all how, what has happened or what transpired before then. It's a rape case. And then you have to deal with it the way it is. If you have to go for it, you go for it. It's a rape case. But I have so much reservations to say, but I think. I'll allow Liz. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Like you said, to. like you said, rape is any sexual intercourse that is taking place without the consent of the other person. Exactly. As long as the person hasn't given you your, the consent to have sex with him, it is rape. Mm. Whether it is a female, Correct. whether it is, whether it is a male, mm. it is rape. Okay. So yeah. there is no justification. I agree with that. that. And then when we, when we are talking about consent now, mm -hmm. it's not just about uh, who said yes or who said no. Yeah. You should understand that when it comes to the issue of rape, there are certain persons who are in no position to give consent. Now, rape is not just about um, having sexual intercourse against uh, or without the consent of an individual, but then also with an individual who is incapable of giving legal consent and now this might be due to a minor status which means an underage has no right to give consent to you it might also be to a mental illness it means that someone who is suffering from a mental uh, illness or who is insane mm -hmm. is in no position to give consent no, to I, you I, I think i think um uh, uh, considering all these facts you're you're putting out now i think we should actually consider what are these things that what are these factors that actually cause rape in the first case because yes. watching this video now um i'm hearing some things that is it's a bit funny and at the same time serious okay so yes. you know how she, she went to the club and how she likes this and yes. how she likes that yes and then she made a statement of uh, trying to belong and then at that point i already felt um, um the company she was keeping was, was bad because bad exactly. you don't want to indulge in something but you are keeping companies of people like she said she's a virgin you are keeping company of people who are into influencing it influencing you yeah who are influencing you that's making you say things that you have not even done and at that point you are saying these things you don't know the what you are building in someone else's mind exactly. you understand so yeah. 
Um, we have uh, so much we have to look into based on this uh, video we just watched now. You know, like I said when we started, uh, it's not justification that that's not a rape. I don't even think it has to do with um, the area of uh, what you are building in someone's mind or the company you are keeping. Is it that, that's what I was trying to buttress on this point mm. just now. Okay. It's a matter of you as an individual understanding what is right from what is wrong. Because if you are, re if he was responsible mm -hmm. to say, and if in the first place that relationship was, I don't know if to say a responsible uh, relationship or uh, if it was a good relationship in the first place, they are not over supposed to be discussing about, about that sex. Means if, sex. That means you are, you are actually saying if. A good relationship means if you say if it's a godly relationship. A godly yes, if it's, a godly, if it's a godly relationship, okay. you understand. Yeah. So and then let's let's now even take that aside and then let's look at her being someone responsible. Okay. She said outrightly that at the point in time where he wanted to engage, she said to him, No. Okay, it's true. You understand? Yes, true. she was clear. She said no. So no matter what she may have said before that point in time. What matters is, see, no is no. No, I, I, I totally understand no what you're saying. No, yes. Uh, don't so, worry, Liz. So, I, I so know you have a lot to say. That's see, what I totally understand what you're saying. About no, now. of course, no is no. But I just want you to understand that uh, before something happens, like a popular man of God would say, um, a drunkard did not start with um, a carton of beer. It started with a bottle. It started with a bottle. In fact, it started with a sip. Yes. You understand <laughs> that now? So yeah, that's what I glass. meant by... I remember yes. the video, the girl said she was a virgin. She was a virgin. Yes, you are a virgin. And she, and she said to the guy, I like it when they force, they force me. You can imagine. Yeah. She said <laughs> it. She said it before. Okay. You understand? She said it before. At the point where he was going to engage, she said, no. Okay, what of? She's, okay. What I'm, I what I'm particular about here is the fact that was there a no or not? Yeah. There was a no. Was where does so this space no of where does this space? I'm not justifying what he did, but so, I'm I'm saying I'm saying this now for for the viewers watching us right now. Okay. Um, what we are what we are going to do here today, I believe, is to see how we can cope this exactly from yeah. even happening in the first place. Yes. For them to even be in the situation where you even have to say to no. To avoid finding yourself yes. in such, yes. such, yes. such a such a situation in the first place. So, but first, um, you are in that room with that guy. That's not enough particular by what we just watched now you have been building this on his head like telling indirectly him indirectly building it that's what i meant by saying that like different, ideas, not different, a different ideas not different ideas yeah. in fact went to the point to tell telling him that you like it like when you're forced so how would he even know that at that point you're saying no you don't, you're not trying to tell him okay force me a little <laughs> Don't mind that's, me. That, that is, that's the problem. But I think that that also isn't a justification. Exactly. Of course, it's, it's, not, it's not a justification. Yeah. Like, I, I, like you said, I, and I understand but this. Then, but then you see, um, what we are talking about is something that is even so wide. Mm -hmm. What we just yeah. watched is, is just an example. It is from one person's point of view. Yeah. Now, almost every single day mm. on social media, we see different cases Different cases are springing up. You see cases between a 47-year-old man and a 12-year-old. You see cases between, uh, let's say, Top a, artist. A, a, a man of, uh, let me say, in his 50s, even against some, a woman in her 70s. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is not That's even, it's not even uh, restricted to saying, okay, it's just for those that are young, young. or say, yeah. even those that are old. You it understand? Happens, Still experience rape. And then it's not just even something that's even limited to the female the gender. Female even the males not. are still they go, they, they go through. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So what we watched was just from a point of view. It is something that is becoming as an unbearable. Becoming alarming. So now, I think we should look at it from the angles of the silly excuses. I will call it silly because I tend not to agree with them. Yeah. The silly excuses people give as reasons, as possible reasons. Okay. Why, why, why are we agree with you we that have most of those reasons are silly? Is this? Um, you see, when someone goes out there, a guy, then take have intake of drugs. You get uh, intoxicated. And you're now, yes, and you're now under that influence, and then you you tend to do things that are not in, 
do things out of your way, like yeah. you misbehave, and then you might even indulge in this issue what that you are not we are discussing to today now. Yeah. Rape. I agree with you. you. Can, yes, you yeah. can do all that. Then another, maybe um, uh, uh, you go out of your way. People go out to watch, uh, is it pornography movies? Yeah. yeah. And then after watching it, then you want to practice what you just watched. So apart from having, um, saying these things are silly excuses, but how are we going to actually help this excuse not even come up in the first place? I agree place? with you, but at the point also, I think it starts from the home. Okay. It starts from the childhood. Mm. The way they, you bring your child up, the way you bring your son up, the way you bring your girl up, what do you teach them? Do you teach your boy how to respect a lady? Okay. Do you teach your girl how to behave in front of, okay, when you are in a place where everybody does not think like you? Because it's not everybody that have the same home training. How exactly. do you behave? What what how you present yes, yourself? Yes, how do you present yourself? What what are the statements that you make? Like so like, like having, this having that mind. So of, she's talking about the you... angle of upbringing. Yes, now. the okay, upbringing. Okay. So because it means from, wrong upbringing yes, can lead to can lead to it. Okay. If a boy doesn't know that you have to respect a lady, he will just think that okay, if I see this girl, she's very beautiful. I can just. It is his right. It's my right <laughs> to have her. Yeah. It is his right. It's okay. my right to have her. And that, that's wrong. From that, okay, and even those guys that you say take drugs, it's also start from the home. The upbringing, yeah. What do you teach your child? How I, do you, I, what I, does I, the child I might totally see disagree with that. I might totally disagree with that. Because okay, I've let's, seen, let's hear I've your seen, point of view. I've seen home where uh, the, the mom is on the A-list. When I mean A-list, I mean good character. Okay. okay. Sometimes some people will say a child that wants to 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 go the other way go astray. definitely go the other way. Yeah, okay. I don't even understand. So I would I will I disagree with you on that. Some parents try their best. They try to see from you even say they didn't allow this child to go out when this child was growing up. But you see that 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 that's what I want to say. It's not it's not about giving your child freedom or not. Yeah. In mm. fact, I would even tell you that as a parent, when you're bringing up your child and you think that restriction of movement, locking them indoors, is you training or is you doing <laughs> enough as a parent, you are, just de you are deceiving yeah. yourself because it's like a time bomb that is waiting to explode. Children need to be given free will to be able to interact. Exactly. They need to be able to be exposed to certain things, see those things, know those things. Then it is now your position to educate them on those things which yeah. they have been exposed Stop the to. Taboo. The taboo. Mm. Because, taboo. yes, it is now your, 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 your duty to educate them on those things that they have been exposed to. That's early sex education. Yes, exactly. at the early stage. When you shy away from it, they won't be in your house forever. Of course. Course. You've been comes. locking them it indoors. By the time they go out <laughs> now and they get exposed to those things, they are not coming back directly to your home. Now they, will not, they will be left to themselves and they will now have to make decisions on their yeah. own. Yeah. So that's, that's, not even, that's not even a part of it. But I think um, I've heard people say that, um, why should you be wearing skimpy dresses? Look at look look at what you are wearing. What you, are, what you are wearing that is prompting me to do this. Like yeah. who does that? that now, that's the most silly excuse among them. The most silly don't excuse. don't get me wrong. Don't <laughs> really? get me wrong. Nobody is justifying um, indecent but dressing. But if you are saying it's the most silly excuse, I want to I want to trash out what no, you just said. No, no I think yes, we should we should actually look at it. Nobody yeah. is saying dress half naked. Yeah, yeah expose your true. body. Nobody is saying it is good. But then at the same time, we are saying that it is no justification whatsoever. Okay, what about those? Do you know that even children that are as young as being uh, not up to a year old, do you know they experience rape? Exactly, yeah. mostly yeah. them. What's your, as in, what, those what's, what's your excuse talk, for that? that cannot, yes, that, that do not have those forms and everything that a you see that is old. attractive. A four-year-old. It's, it's very clear. Um, um, uh, when you started, you, you started with godly relationship. Yes. I, wa I want to point something that way now. You see, some of these persons... I would, I would rightly say and I would boldly say that they are void of the Holy Spirit. Okay. First, yes. Because you see, most cases, rape actually leads to death. Yes. In most cases. Yeah. Yeah. You, the, the, the victim gets to die or something happens and then they don't survive it. So for you to even have the, that mindset to actually make somebody go through that thing such that will, pain such pain that we even take their life yeah. then you have your 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 life is completely void of the holy spirit because you see the holy spirit directs you and gives you you cannot hurt 
<laughs> somebody else. Somebody else in the it. first place. That is why when you have this Holy Spirit in you, you will not even indulge in what they call premarital sex. Yeah. Because that is where these things are starting from. You see, watching watching movies that that that, that builds your mind around Sexual this thing. Scenes. Playing yeah, sounds, that, songs yeah. that builds your mind around this thing. You see yeah. where these things are supposed to be copped from. You. When, when, when these things happened, that's why I was particular about what that girl said to, said to that guy. Because he actually, she actually said a lot in building the guy's Ideas. mind, preparing him for, for that adventure. Preparing him for it. You see, you don't just do these things that prepares you for it. Then, yeah. then, you, then you try your best to, to stay away from these things. There's no way that you end up uh, uh, raping, but having somebody on But then, like you said, I think we should look at a few cases... Um, I was making a research and then because now it's not even enough to say you are you are building yourself you are not taking yourself to, to what about people that are in the comfort of their homes mm. and then you have cases of robbery where people go to rob them and then you are raped right in your no, in your home house. not because you went outside not because you went to drink or anything but anyway like I, this is just one this is just one sided okay. you understand there are so many issues yeah. to look at but then and that brings out also back again to home training check what your children your children watch on this on the screen what they see mm. what even in mm. cartoons now mm. it is it is so common. yes okay yes. the topic is actually becoming very very interesting very interesting but right now we will go on a break and please after the break don't go anywhere after the break call the number on your screen share your opinion, share your opinion. Mm -hmm. tell us if you have an experience just Tell us about it and then help somebody today. Thank you. Just don't go anywhere. Right back.
guys welcome back we are still on youth and lifestyle and our topic today is still rape please take your phone and call the number on your screen try and participate say talk about your experience if you have a family member if you have a friend that has been in the situation of rape and you want to share it please call the number on your screen and share your story so now i want to come back again on the top or on, on the on the, the topic of the discussion, yeah, the, yeah. the topic of the discussion, which is rape, and particularly about the dressing. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Mostly people say it's because of the dressing that the girl is raped. Yeah, I'm not. Even, I'm not. I'm not. Our, I, I don't really agree with it. Even but our, I even think our fathers we say yeah, yes. Again, but I think it skimpy. is also very important okay. to let our girls know that skimpy dresses, clothes, and all that. Like you can still dress decently and look good. That's what yeah. I was, I was, I was <laughs> just about saying that good. because yeah. I've heard people uh, take a public transport to a journey and then. On their way, the the maybe the driver will just pull over somewhere and then try to rape them. Some they even succeed in raping them. And these persons are well dressed. They are. I, I understand. Mm. Yes, I understand. Mm. The, I understand the okay. fact that when people dress skimpy and then um, you can't. There are people think differently. You understand? There are people have different mindsets. So that you, this dressing is not. Uh, attracting me or is not giving me concern does not mean it's not giving somebody else somebody else concern. But we both, we all I think I think that that's not even an excuse is. because um, we may be speaking this way because we are addressing uh, issues from maybe a exactly. uh, very primary place. point of view. Yeah. Because of course we're in Africa, we're in Nigeria. When you go to other places where skimpy dresses are like it's a norm. Mm. That's how people dress. Are you now going to say you go from one street to the other, from one house to the other, raping everybody? <laughs> no. Are, are you getting the, Are you getting yeah. my point now? You can't say that. So, what, what, what I'm even saying now is that indecent dressing is not even an excuse. Okay, we have a caller. Ima D from Delta State. Hello. Mami, Hello. Can you hear us? really hear you okay i think we lost that one please when you are calling kindly turn down the volume of okay. your tv okay. set and that. ensure that you are not close to your we, tv we, set we, okay we, please we actually really need your opinion we want to hear your story. opinion see, we cannot digest everything people go through a lot people go through so much in dealing with uh, rape cases i've had um um uh, rape cases that happened um where these persons end up losing their lives. Yeah, people, people are traumatized. It leaves uh, uh, different not, scars on the so victims. We need your opinion. We need okay, so what do you think about a girl being raped in her boyfriend's house? Because okay. That is actually, they are actually in a relationship, okay. but she finds herself being raped by her boyfriend. It's like nowadays now, guys cannot cannot date a girl without having sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, okay, that's like mostly the, what's the whole essence of a relationship is being channeled uh, towards Around another uh, angle. I, I, I would it. say, I would say that no, people, that people will tell you that people will place. tell you that why would you visit a boy? Yes, there are people who will tell you that in the first place, what do you find? Sorry, by yourself, you cannot yes. visit yeah. your friend. Is that what you're saying? By why yourself. did you go to this place? What were you looking for? And that's why I was talking about the the idea or the concept of the no in the first place okay. the fact that we are in a relationship does not mean that the primary essence of that relationship is for sexual exactly. intercourse Very and then important. if along the line you feel like you want to engage and i am not interested and i say outrightly to you that no you should something i believe it. i believe something leads to that Okay, how, mean, how do you mean something yeah, leads to that? What, what, what I mean by something leads to that is just like what's, what happened in this uh, uh, clip we watched before now. Okay. When we started. You are, you are building something on, in my mind. Sorry. If, if you say, if you say, Sorry, if you say we are starting to eat. If you say we are starting a relationship. Nothing, nothing that relationship should be, to eat. That nothing relationship should be defined. No, no, this happens when a relationship is not defined. Nothing leads that is to why, it. That is I will why tell you, nothing leads to it. Ungodly relationship, ungodly relationship is actually not advisable. If you are in a relationship, make sure the person That's is it. a child of God that understands those things, that knows that if I'm in a relationship, I'm not so. How do you to how sex. do you know that somebody is a child of God? How do you separate somebody from a child of devil <laughs> no, to child of God? How you do you will know? know? It's possible to know. How will you date somebody you don't communicate with? Like, how will you communicate you with somebody when you don't visit the person? No, you now <laughs> there are things called dates. Huh? There are there are, there are things exactly. called dates. At the point, the guy can even tell you. The guy can even tell you. The guy can even tell you that, you, the the tell you that I'm not too com comfortable discussing us outside then on you, a date then, no then you can't date no, me no 
and uh, see the, the one we are talking about even you, the, now we've, we've talked about in the same dressing right yeah mm -hmm. we talked we talked about uh, the case of the relationship yeah. now we also have cases of fathers raping their daughters that wow. we have yes yeah. we have in lot. cases of rape in, in the house what do you think possibly brings about such such an experience why why on earth what yeah, do you think is a possible so, reason yeah, why a father an uncle raped the an uncle yeah it would want to lot. engage in, in sexual, sexual intercourse. intercourse when your uncle is telling you don't no call child. me uncle again that's, call me that, by my name do you understand all those and now the most annoying part is this so many persons out there are experiencing this mm. but where the problem comes is that nobody, nobody is, is talking to speak exactly nobody is talking and they are not talking for so many reasons now, if you ever look at the country today, how many rape cases actually, yeah. when if someone has mm -hmm. the opinion that even if I come out to share my experience today, or nothing I say this person it. did this, nothing will be done about it. Do you think that such persons will be, other persons rather, it, it happens, would yeah. even want to come when, out and when share this their stories? That this thing happens to, there are some kind of classy people. Classy people, and they are, people. They are yeah. Okay, you mean yeah. when the perpetrators are maybe... Um, High-profile high personalities, profile personalities like yes. Artists, yeah. public figures. Wow. When something like that come out, the person will, there's a lot of stigma. Oh, why would people think about me? People will think that I caused it. People will think that uh, it's because who I, some, some people even say, will not believe you. Because okay. they will be like, ah, who is this girl that that top man will come and look at her? So people will not they, choose to they, 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 they will even Some of them will even say, Maybe she went there to beg money now. Exactly. And then on the verge of begging money, she Maybe offered herself to actually get what she wanted. No, no. I, I, I think even talking about the cases with these high-profile persons, sometimes, like you are saying, okay, maybe she, uh, he or she went there to offer something. It's, it's an exchange business. And like I was saying before, see, the fact that you had sexual intercourse with someone mm -hmm. the person didn't struggle with you okay there was no fight it doesn't mean in mother he is calling like again from delta state right. i'm sure the network is better now can you hear us hello 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 imadi hello yeah we can yeah. hear you um, um imadi you calling from delta state Precisely, Chevron Nigeria Limited. I have the following this is, um, topic on rape. Okay. The volume is low. Can you, uh, okay. for, for me, it's not something one should think of, even not being a Christian. Trying to inflict, okay. you know, a mental injury on someone hmm. is, is not something to think of. You understand? Okay. Not people talk about being a Christian. So for those that are engaged in it, I think maybe the society has, you know, degenerated to that extent that drug abuse, people think drug abuse as a normal thing for them. So when they engage on drugs, so anything they are moved to do, they do. Drugs. Because on a normal sense, you can't see a person, whether male or female, that is like a sister or like a mother to you, just as you know, ask mm. yourself. If you as a man, you, you, you get the news that your wife was being raped, that your wife was raped, how will you feel? Can you even go through that trauma? Not to talk about mm. your wife herself going through that <laughs> emotional wow. trauma. That is so deep. So we start seeing everyone around us as our own sisters and brothers, you know? So I, that would be the only way people can actually, you know, do away with this issue of rape. Because I've come across people, you know, going through rape accidents, explaining how, you know, they're excruciating pain. They go through yeah. emotionally, not even, you know, what the, the person did to them directly. So I would urge everyone, being a human being created by God, see every woman as God's creature. People, you have to... Um, you know, Imadi, you can you hear us? Yeah. Women have to be seen as eggs. They can take decision now and regret it later. So that thing you do to them, they might not die immediately after that rape. They cannot go through that emotion. They can find themselves thinking of what to do, maybe committing suicide and ending their lives. So please, I would beg everyone, human being, blood flows through your brain. You have the fear of God. Please do this from rape. Hello, can you hear us? Thank you. 
Thank you. Wow. All right. Thank, thank, thank you very much. I'm not sure he can hear us here. quite thank well, but I wanted to ask some few uh, uh, questions. Yeah, he, he cited quite um, some sensitive and important factors to take note of. He talked yeah. about uh, intoxication. Yeah. I heard that, which mm -hmm. Unamdi spoke, uh, spoke of earlier. Yeah. When you get intoxicated, it, it takes you out of your right senses of reasoning. Mm -hmm. And when you are not in your right senses of reasoning, then you are capable of doing things that you would not be proud the, of. The Regret part I wanted to even ask about if he was hearing us okay. was the part he said, uh, if, uh, how would you feel when you hear that your, your wife, wife is wife. being raped? Okay. And you just made a, a statement and said, even some people uh, uh, get to rape their, their relatives, yes. their, fathers, their, their fath fathers rape daughters, daughters uncles. uncles. Yes. So <laughs> some of these persons don't even think that way to say, uh, how would I feel if my wife is being raped outside when they are doing it inside? They, you, you, and uh, it keeps happening. I feel that it keeps happening because other persons are not speaking, are not speaking out. out. Speaking, which mm. brings us back to it. Other persons are not speaking out. Yeah. So the first step, now he was saying this thing, the, these victims are left traumatized, scarred for life. For life. Mm. Scarred for life. for life. And the first process of healing is talking about it. Okay, we have Excel, Excel calling from, from your, your state. state. Hello, Excel. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Good evening, Hello I can hear you. Thanks for calling in. Your contribution, please, on the topic. You've been listening to us, Hello. right? Hello. Can you hear? Hello. Yes, we, we can, can hear, hear you. you. <laughs> Excel, can you step away from your TV and turn down the volume of your TV? Completely. Okay, I think uh, well, lost the, well, the This well. topic is, is a sensitive topic and it has damaged so many lives across the globe. To start with, let me take a clue from that short clip. If you watch that clip clearly, if it is to be taken to the to the law court, a charge and bail lawyer that has not graduated will win that case in the favor of the boy. Reason being that <laughs> you've already told the guy you like it first when forced. So you made the guy to believe that he has to force you and at the end of the day you would only be pretending saying no. But deep down in your heart, you like it. There was never an established point in time where the lady made it known to him plainly, stop, I'm a virgin, I was lying all the while. Nothing of such ever happened. That aside. What I want us to know is that in life, actions and inactions are seen. And Genesis 8.22, as long as the earth Remain it. Seek time and have time shall not cease. So the actions, what we do, they are seeds being sown. I understand there are cases where some demonized, devil possessed persons are just on missions to to destabilize and cause havoc to so many lives. I'm trying to come in from the angle of indecent dresses. When you dress indecently, you are sowing the seed. There was a case where a core member was raped by all these animals in the north. And the court had it that she was always wearing skin pink skirt and, and all of those whatever. So it was the seed she sown that she raped the seed thereafter from those uncircumcised the animals. So we are not trying to say Yes, whenever you see a lady dressing decent, of course, a lady that is properly trained will not be dressing decent in the first place. So, by con in conclusion, let me say that at the base of it all is the Spirit of the Lord. John 1 and verse 12, as many that have received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. And Romans 6 and verse 14, as many that are led by the Spirit of the Lord, they are the sons of God. Any life that is not being led 
by the Spirit of the Lord, believe you me, can do anything disastrous anytime. Any life that is given by the Spirit of God, even if a lady is naked before him, the grace, which is the empowerment to kill the nature of sin, is already at work in him by the Spirit of the Lord. So such persons cannot be seen engaging in such an awesome act of faith. So I would like to conclude that whoever is being led as God will not be involved in such. We know this in a way that will be a seed that will thereafter give birth to the fruit of such nature. And whoever is not being led of God. Was taken to the court that even a child that I'm being lawyer is going to be used because of the utterance. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because of the statement that she made. But anyway, I still would not agree that because of what she said. He still had a reason, reason to, to force, force her in the first place. Do you know? Because do you, you know? know why? I know. If do you know? That do you know when he it told? Sound right to do you, you know when he told this boy that she is actually a virgin? Do I you know when she told the boy? After After, after everything. Yes. No, and I these are communication. You know. What I'm trying to say is okay. this: when you are in a relationship with somebody in the first place, I believe before this girl will go and visit this boy, there is. When I say there is a relationship. At yes, all, there is something. Know, yes. So, treated, how can you yeah. be in a relationship and you are living in a lie? That is what I was saying. The case of living a lie is not even it. I am, I am saying to you now that for someone to even say to you that they love being forced, you should know that something is, is wrong, wrong with somewhere. Them. And no, why is it no. that in the I, 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 place, I will not there. judge. It is, it is sex that was the first thing in his relationship. Okay. If you say you are in a relationship, I think it's for marriage. And when you say you want to marry... Hold on, no. did the guy say uh, sex is the first thing for this relationship or you're making reference to other relationship? No, what she's I'm just saying, bringing out an angle I'm, to it. Exactly. Okay. I'm bringing yes. an angle okay. That's okay. not what he said, but I'm saying that sex should not be the if, priority. If we are even trying to fight on this or argue on this matter, because I believe this gathering now, this life program is um, trying to um, uh, alarm people yes, to know raise alarm. raise alarm for people to know how yeah. to cop this yeah, there are but yes so doing, if we yeah, yes that you might be doing indirectly, directly building yes. it unconsciously in mind of your partner yeah. so it's not even a good relationship to start with because if it is you will not even be discussing uh, a, a sex positions how you sense. want how you want it done to you and and people you've had it with that's you even said that yeah exactly and it's anyway Anyway, uh, I think that would be left for the court, the court of law <laughs> to, to judge and decide that. No, then, not yes. just court of law. I will no, not. I will. I will that. not say court of law. What I'm even saying now, before okay. court of law, we decide anything. Mm, uh -huh, I don't. Know. Is this when you are in a relationship? Open up to your partner. Yeah. If this, okay, if, if we have if, a call, Jeff is calling. Jeff calling from Delta Hello, State. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Can you hear us? Jeff, are you there? Okay. okay. So, what's your opinion on this topic? Good evening. I, I have a, one experience that I've called April Second. Besides, we did try it. Tell us. A lady just went out to buy something. Can you get me clear, please? She, we can hear you loud and clear. Hello? We can hear, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Okay, she, she was kidnapped and go to get something for the market. Okay. Only for God to intervene. And then at the end of the day, after I say, the, the kids, two persons in her presence, unknowingly to us that she was raised. It was later, wow. I mean, my wife, it was later while my wife was just trying to talk with her that she opened up in a WhatsApp. Group. My wife was just trying to advise the younger ladies to keep to themselves. So when they made mention of virginity, she fled up online and she just pulled out the book. Where I'm going to for time's sake is this. In the course of the discussion, you, you, somebody made mention of the home training, that's the family. Another person made yeah, mention yeah. of association. And that's good. Yeah. A lady might, might be successful in this too. You might have a good home training. You might be able to overcome association. But another factor I see that is paramount is preservation. 
And most of the testimonies we hear from Papa, you, you, they will tell you that Grace spoke for me. That's just my little contribution. Let me know if much of the time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. He said, he said so yes. much. Yes. Um, that, that's why I was he, saying people expressing in their homes. Yeah. Even, in, even in the comfort of your homes. Yeah. And they are you just understand? waiting for somebody to speak for yes. them. They are, yes. They are so, just waiting. I was actually going to, I was just going to ask Jeff. Okay. How long did that lady keep that to herself? <laughs> wow. It's all... That's oh, that's there are people... <laughs> so I'm many. telling you, there are people even watching right now. If you know what they have experienced, if you know... What? If you know what they are harboring within them, that they have not. Wait, I want to even. I want to know comfort. I want to know. Is it boldness? Is it boldness? I want to know. Why are they keeping me? That's why we're talking about the fact. Is actually part of it. Do you know that most times when you come out to share your experience as a rape victim, you are the one being shamed? Exactly. Is that true? You are. Yeah. As, you are defamed. Yeah. You are dragged. Are you a? You are, dragged are you a public over. figure? Oh, I don't understand. No, I am Please. telling you this. Yes, it happened. I am so, telling you this. Exactly. So okay, you don't want to say come out just because of that stigma, because people will bring them down. Exactly. They, they, will, they bring will say. Them down. Some people will say, wow. "Oh, you want to drag the name of the family of this to exactly. the mud? What name? Wait, and, and, wait. And, and which family? The girls." Family yeah, or yeah, the victim's family now. Scenarios yes. where even the dad will be raping the girl and the mom is we'll away. Away. She will not be talking. God bless you, Lizzie. God what? bless you. Lizzie. I am in a meeting. We have another My caller. Okay. God sent God calling God from Edo State. Hello, God sent. Hello, God sent. Hello, God sent. God sent, are you there? I think we lost God. Oh, sent. wow. Okay. Okay, what I was saying, saying yes. I was saying because okay, the mom is I'm in a meeting. I have my 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 sisters, my friends, uh, they will say that it's a shame. Ah, no, it's a shame. No, it's, it's, please don't skip. The yeah. the case of the father. Okay, I think God sent is calling God back. Is calling Hello, God sent. Hello, God sent. All right. All right. Okay, we can hear you. We can hear you. Can hear what, you. Share your opinion with us. Hello. We can hear you clearly, God sent. Hello, God sent. We can hear you. Share your yes. opinion with us. What do you think? Hello. Hello. Yes. We can hear you. With regards of uh, what I've been discussing about uh, the rate, um, in regards okay. of that rate, this was a need to every individual must be godly, must be must possess the characteristic of. Fear. They must prevent because they must have the fear of God in the person. Yeah, what our father discussed this very morning about deliverance. So most of these people, most of the, most of these individuals, these boys, they have they are, they are spirit that is behind it that is manipulating them. That's why like what our, our caller said earlier. <laughs> there are some people who were right in the family. You see a man trying to rape his uh, his daughter. You see a woman, a, a man trying to go against. The younger one or the assemblies or third daughter. Why? Because there's a spirit that is behind it. That doesn't need deliverance. He needs the fear of God inside of him. Constant meditation of the word of God. Because that person has that person has that fear of God inside of him. He emulates this characteristic of studying the word of God, constant meditation of the word of God. The person will know that what he or she is doing is not right. He must, he, 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 he must have this fear of God in him. So he will know that what he or she is about to attempt to do, whether it be the choir, be the brother, be the sister, he will know that this thing is, this thing is not good. It's not because there's a spirit that is behind that, that action. There's a spirit that is behind the race. There's a power that is trying to push the person to do what he wants to do. So when the person does not, when, 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 when he or she never have this fear of God inside of him, you see that that characteristic of race will be there. So my appeal for everyone, every girl that is listening, that the person should ask the fear of God. This is my question. This is my question. The Spirit is leading you to an innocent girl. Just like he made, he made mention of her father in the Lord, the person of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Yes. 
Apostle Simon will say, when you are angry, those who, who beat their wife or their go partner, barrack, can go you go to, to barrack, the barrack and, 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 beat, and beat a soldier, a soldier a or a police? Or if, if, a yeah, if you are feel led by a spirit, why don't you go and do it in the barrack? Go and hold a soldier <laughs> lady <laughs> and then explore your, your madness and see what happens to you. What? How can you? Oh, we have so much to say on this topic. And then I, I believe our viewers still have so much to give us on this. Exactly. But we are going on a very short break. Don't go anywhere. We are coming back. We are coming back. We are coming back. We are coming back. Stay tuned with us. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. 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 Lifestyle. It has been quite an intense session of discussion looking at our topic for today, the scourge called rape. Now, we've looked at what rape is, we've looked at the possible factors leading to rape, we've looked at the possible factors also why victims are not coming out to share their stories. And it's a sad one that these are things that we know, these are things that we experience every single day we see them even if we have not been victims we have been close mm -hmm. to victims those who have experienced these things and do not forget that the essence of this program the essence of this discussion today is to encourage somebody out there to speak up speaking up is the first step to healing speaking up is the first step to helping someone else out there so we are encouraging you today if you are watching right now are you a victim or do you know someone who was or who is a victim please encourage them to speak up today to share their story to be able to help themselves and also help others so we've come to the end of the program for today we wish that we had so much time to be able to talk more because trust me there are so many angles to this but we really do not have time on our side. So before we go, Unamdi, mm. any last words? Yeah, um, like God sent said, but I always want to say, um, let your relationship be godly. Yeah. First, then have a purpose for your relationship. I know that um, so, uh, some persons agree with me that God protects his own. So as you're having your relationship godly, then um, um, you try not to keep things from your partner. You see, this thing Have gets to, yes, this thing yes. goes a long way to help. Try not to keep things to your partner. Yes, Be open. Be open. We are out of time. Please, <laughs> please. Any last words? What I want to say is please speak out. Please speak out. Some people are waiting for you to make the move, for them to come out and, see, and, and, and denounce it. And, mm, and, and help you. It. Please yeah. speak out. And parents, please know what your children are doing. Be friend with your children, be friend with your teenagers so that they can talk, be friend with your youth. Just make sure, make sure that around you, you are help to somebody that this case of rape should not be, should not be a problem. Thank mm. you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much. Lizzie, so I would say to every man out there, respect every woman every around woman. you. Mm. And to every woman out there, respect every man around you we hope to see you next week same time it is 5 p.m gmt plus one sundays youth and lifestyle so we hope to see you next week trust me this is just the beginning yeah. our next topic yeah. would blow your mind mm. so we've come to the end of the program for today and we hope that we have been able to encourage you and to inspire you thank you so much better. for being there thank you One minute, we have all the time, and the next minute, there's little or no time left. So what better time to act, if not now? If we aim to shape a better future, then we must begin today. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle.